Hey guys, it's Dahe. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be um, filming a video about one of the most frequently asked questions I get about my career, which is what is it like working at a large advertising agency? So I've been working in large agencies for about almost three years now. So it's still a very short amount of time and I'm still very early on in my career but I feel like it's still enough time to be very familiar and kind of like understand what happens behind campaigns. So if you're curious to know what this um, industry is all about, just keep watching. No matter what agency you go to, I would say that the general like working and team structures are pretty similar. At least that's what I've experienced and that's also what I hear from like my colleagues and friends that work at other shops. Um, so the main structure is that there are three main teams and these are just the main teams I am not mentioning like other teams. I'm not not mentioning other teams To like ignore them or you know discredit them or anything but like the main teams are accounts strategy and creative so first off the accounts team they're really like the client managers they're like ninja project managers that just keep literally every single aspect of um, the client relationship, the project itself, um, the, the budgeting timeline, like literally everything that goes into making something happen in life, um, that is what the accounts team is responsible for. This is for those personality types who just love like staying on top of things, making sure everyone's like motivated, doing their things, every everything is clear and um, just, you know, it's, they make things happen. Strategy team, which is the department that I'm in, is really kind of the main research, consumer insights, and just setting the grounds of what a campaign or you know just any kind of piece or piece of work will root from so let's say there's like a brand and they're launching a product next year I will come in with a brief and they'll just have like general things about what target market they want to go after regions what the product is itself um, and so it'll be very you know it's a brief like it's it's brief literally and so what the strategy department will do will um, just start all of that research of like consumer insights, you know, in this category, what are people into, like what's the behavior going around here. We'll also do like market landscape studies of checking out, you know, who the competition is, who's growing, um, what's trending lately, where's the, the opportunity space. So out of that, you'll craft a specific space and weigh in for the product to be launched and that is essentially what strategy does. We craft that sandbox of like where is our right to play and how do we how do we get there essentially. The last team in an agency is the creative team and just as it sounds like that these are the people who li literally like create the ideas of what that campaign strategy is going to look like in life so if you were um, to continue on that product launch example they're going to be talking about you know where are we going to put the product how are we going to place it what's the packaging going to look like what's the tagline you know like literally the the tactical things that um the launch will have so that's a very brief and very high level overview of how an agency is structured and of course there are so many other things that go on there's the production team that go out and source everything and like you know make it happen there's the business development team that pitch um, and you know try to grow the agency itself there's leadership that sets all of this so there's a lot of other things that go on in the background, of course, but the three main um, kind of departments are the account strategy and creative. So in terms of the culture, I have to say like when you see stereotypes of like ad agencies, it's super down to earth. It's really casual. Like you literally can wear whatever you want. And if anything, it's, it's very encouraged to be yourself fully and be very expressive and like it's all very real like <laughs> it's 
stereotypical and sometimes it's a little bit cringy because you see, you know, there's like the barista coffee setup, there's the beer on tap, there's like, you know, all of the crazy office parties. Like it's it's very much real and it happens. Um, but that kind of open-minded and creative environment and welcoming environment is what needs to be in place for us like as we do the work to do our best work and i really believe in that because in marketing like it's not a black and white and very scientific industry a lot of it is based on just our own experiences um it's a lot about like human psychology empathy and a lot about being very honest and raw so um, the environment needs to foster that kind of openness, open-mindedness, inclusivity, and just like really saying what's on your mind <clears throat> and your honest perspective. Like, I really think the best projects are born out of those moments. Like in any industry, there are rush periods where you have to, you know, like really bring out campaigns because you have to meet a certain deadline to be out in market. So there are certain periods of the year that are very much like crunch time and the hours do get long if you're looking for a real honest nine to five like go to i honestly don't even know what industry has a real nine to five but anyways also my experience will not be totally yours but what i can tell you that it's not a regular nine to five job but at the same time it's manageable and you'll be able to kind of foresee when your busy seasons are depending on what industry your clients are in um so yeah that's like the honest answer but i just find it you know i just find the work itself very interesting and i enjoy it so it's it's just it's a part of my life and that's it so i chose this agency route because i definitely wanted to be in a role where i can see a lot of different industries and clients at once and that's definitely something that's a big advantage especially early on in your career to be able to see a little bit of everything actually in the same day sometimes i'll have calls for like a, a ev car brand launch um then it'll be like cosmetics then it'll be like food delivery services and then it'll be like a mental health organization so literally the range is insane like you'll see everything under the rainbow and just that exposure to different industries and ways of thinking and also look like kind of the ways of working um there's just so many like tacit learnings that come from that exposure that i think is very very invaluable and that's that's what i was looking for i was looking for a place like a school where I could really learn about business in all types of industries and places. At the end of the day, like we are living in a very media centric world. It's just the reality. And the fact that I'm able, that my work is able to, you know, get people thinking and have an impact on representation in media. Um, and you know shifting dialogues through campaigns like i find that very fulfilling and yeah i don't know i just think there's still a lot of potential like the industry's changing rapidly as well so we'll see where it goes but overall it's it's very interesting it's fast-paced interesting people um so yeah that's what i like about it i hope that wherever you're at in your career journey or education i hope it's going well that you're still taking care of yourself first and foremost always and um yeah thank you for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you next time bye